What's going on out there, YouTube? This is your host with the most. How's everybody doing out there? If you're new here, welcome. Truly glad everybody stopped by. We're going to get into something nice and fresh. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That means if you like the video, you like the content, hit the thumbs up. If you're not feeling the content, hit the thumbs down. But whatever you do, leave a comment, all right? Okay, so anytime we get to a setup, people, we want to give it a few ticks so it can do what it do, all right? Simple and plain. You just, just let, it, let, let, let it sit for two, three minutes, all right? And just to assure you, anytime, anytime you see a video on my channel, I always use the setups. I will not put out a setup that I have not used, okay? Now, pretty decent. You know, I get the weird One Nation feeling here. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But uh, listen, first thing you're going to want to do with this one, we're going to go right into skin settings. I, I'm going to tell you. Um, they have is a, is it a, a, they have a um an intro like when you you know when you turn it on it got a little intro you guys will see it um first thing you might want to do is disable the enable startup intro it, it's nothing wrong with it but if you use this setup you know and and <laughs> you know you turn your set off setup off and on a lot you're not going to keep seeing that so let's just turn that off right there and another thing i want to do i want to put on enable auto complete i need this feature each and every time i get to a setup people if you're searching for things you need this virtual keyboard here now the important thing about this is once you get it please turn it on okay take off the sub menus too I don't I don't really care for sub menus it, you know I, I usually know what I want you know I I know you know people like the sub menus and see the whole thing listen I'm putting it out here for you guys you guys can do whatever you want and I'm gonna do whatever I want let's go through it real quick I'm feeling Rogue One too. I'm I'm really feeling that. All right. Um, let's go to the add-on browser because that's really important. When you get to a setup, you want to make sure everything's updated. Now, the weird thing about this is, works well. Um, something updated today. I, I'm not sure what some common cache and I was able to actually get the RTMP input but when I didn't I knew the RTMP input was there because of the way it was working and today when I took well late well this morning when I turned it on um, it, it, it actually let me get it let's click into here and what I want to focus on here is video player input stream um, now you will have the input stream adaptive here okay um, and you will have to go get the RTMP input. All right. So go ahead and enable this, the input stream adaptive. And don't forget to long press on it, people, and get the information on these things. It's really cool to know what you're using and why you're using it. All right. Let me show you guys how to get to the RTMP input. What we want to do is go to install from repo and then go to all repos. Once we're in all repos, we're just going to go right back to the video player input stream here, and you will see the RTMP input. All right. Let's back out of here. Next thing we're going to do, go here, people. Oh, and just a heads up, whatever you see here, this is what you get. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much simple. <laughs> this is what you're going to get. I think... Which one did he say? Hold on. Something. Something didn't link up. Hold on. Give me one tick. He said something didn't link up. And I wanted to show you guys how to link it up. 
That's the only thing he said was the matter with this. I think. Let me see. Just bear with me. Uh, what's his name? Noor. Oh, here you go. Let me see. Oh, okay, Rogue One, all right, before we get into this, let's go back to settings, so um, you guys going to want to go here, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it, let's do it, let's go to scan settings here, and what we want to do is go right up here to the first one, we want to go right here, let's click into that, and where it has Rogue One right here, you want to change um, the plugin right here, let's click on it. Okay, and what we want to do is go right here, click on it, we want to go right here, click on it, and what we're going to do is go right to Rogue One right here, and we're going to click on that, and we're going to create the menu there, okay, just cre create the menu there, let's back out of here. Okay, and now you'll be linked up. Let's go there and see. Okay, linked up and ready to go. All right. Um, that was pretty simple, man. It, it's pretty simple how to do some of this stuff if you, you know, tinker around. It's always good to tinker around a setup, especially if you like it. Let's go on the system. I wasn't trying to take too many ticks here. First thing I want to do is go to player. And as you can see, we're on advanced. I kind of like to be on expert. All right. And what I want you guys to do is get a mental picture of every the first two sections here. You want yours to always look like this when you get to a setup. But what I want to focus on here is enable HQ scalers for scaling above. As you can see, it comes in on 30. I like mine's on 100 for all the devices, 3 gigabytes and up, like your NVIDIA Shields and things like that. For your medium devices, like your Fire TVs and Cubes, as well as your NVIDIA Tubes, kind of like to have it on 50 or 60. And if you got a small end device, you know, it comes on 30, you know, like your Fire Stick, you might as well just keep it on 30 because I recommend 20 or 30, okay? But the important thing here is to understand that sometimes you can get a setup and it actually already has the Enable HQ scalers ticked up to their, probably their device or whatever they compiled it on. So you always want to check this. You want to have your settings for your device, all right? And play with it, people. You know, just see how it works. If it works good, try to bump it up. See if it works better. If it's not working good, bump it down. You understand? Sometimes you can have it too high. Sometimes you can have it too low. But if you got the shield, 100 is going to work. Let's get out of there. All right. Nothing else really to go through here. Just wanted to throw this one out there. Nice and fresh. I think I think he said this is the last, his last installment on this. So All we need to do now is go to the Wiz. Let's just get to the Wiz. And, and just, you know... At the end of the video, I will leave the file link um, for because you actually don't even need the URL if you don't want it. You can just get the fork out of um, the file link if you want and just do it that way. So I'll leave that at the end of the video. I, I try to leave it up for like a minute. I know sometimes people, you know, don't move that quick. But let's just go on to the browser. I mean, <laughs> let's go on to the uh, let's go on to the ways. So once we're in the Wiz, um, as you can see, you can see the name of the build here, all right? What I really want to focus on here is maintenance. And what I like to do before I write my advanced settings, because this is what we're ultimately going to do is write our advanced settings, I like to go to cleaning tools. And what I like to do there is get a total cleanup. Okay, let's clean all. All right? 
And after that, I like to go to system tweaks and fixes. And I like to go to quick configure advanced settings, all right? Now, once here, um, you guys can really leave this alone if you would like and just write the file. But what I do, I like to bump my video cache size up. My read buffer factor, I like to bump that up to 10. And for my buffer mode, I like to have it on one. It comes in on it comes in on two, but I like to have mine's on one. All right, you guys can leave your video cache size alone and just go straight to the read buffer factor in the buffer mode and tweak those. Okay, if you're not really familiar with this, I will recommend that. But whatever you should choose to do, just write the file. Once the file is written, you will have these two options here. It's nothing else for you to do, people but restart your setup. Once you've restarted your setup, you should have a decent decent experience here, all right? Me, personally, I like to write my advanced settings before I even get the setup. That means, you know, I get the Wiz, you know, do my little maintenance, clean up, and then write my advanced settings. It will tell you to restart after that, but I'll just get the setup, and then I, because you got to restart anyway. So, I write my advanced settings, get my setup that I want, and just restart, and I'm ready to go. Let me know how you guys like this one. If you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe. But most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells, people. As always, I'm hoping you're having a blessed, peaceful, and a productive day. Love and peace for all. Never forget it is good to be good, and it is bad to be bad. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace.